Hi folks. <clears throat> well, I've uh, I got paid uh, on Friday, and I got some bits ordered off eBay uh, for the bike because um, there's still a few things I need to do uh, before the summer. Um, one of those things is the battery, uh, which is which is dead and won't start the bike, as I mentioned in previous videos. So I've got a new uh, battery here. This is um, quite a cheap battery. Um, but hopefully it should be quite good. I've seen some good reports um, about it on the internet. It's a power line motorcycle battery. Um, it was about £21 I think off eBay. As you can see it's a YTX9, um, it's 12 volt, uh, 9 amp hours and 180 CCA. Um, that's kind of a lower CCA than the Enduro line that's in there at the moment, which is about 220. So I'm hoping that means that it's um, got more kind of deep cycle ability. Uh, but I'm going to be more careful with this battery and try not to try not to wreck it. So I'm going to fit that once I finish doing my wiring and kind of tested my electrics and made sure everything's um, working. Um, now, if you've seen my last video, you'll see that I, love, I was working on the wiring been working on the, the wiring on the bike um, but I've still got a few things to finish off like for example wiring in the uh, uh, the left hand switch gear and to do that I needed some uh, 2.8 mil spade connectors female spade connectors which is what I've got here so now that I've got these that enables me to um, Get the switch gear and the solenoid, the indicator solenoid, and what have you wired in. Um, they weren't too much, they were only a few pounds off eBay. Um, what else have I got? A couple of other things here. This one's kind of a luxury, this is not really essential, but what I've got is a front sprocket cover. Um, up until this point, I've just been running it without the sprocket cover on. It's not actually essential. Uh, from a sort of legal point of view but the problem with it is is that it does um, if you don't have a sprocket cover on it does tend to fling dirt all over the water pump and the back of the engine and everything so just been cleaning that cleaning that up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this sprocket cover I've just sat it in place there so it gives you some idea what it looks like it's going to look a bit better I think it kind of finishes it off a bit makes the bike look a bit more finished off that was less than ten pounds off eBay. Um, it's actually surprisingly, it's actually plastic. Usually, these that I've had in the past have been kind of like aluminium or magnesium or something like that. But this one's plastic, which I'm guessing is probably because the fire blade um, was always designed to be a very lightweight bike, and that is an incredibly lightweight cover. I mean, there's just no. There's no weight in that at all, it just weighs nothing, you know. Um, I'm not quite sure what this bit is. It's got like a hole where you can access uh, uh, the nut. So I guess it's, it's designed so that you can put a, um, a socket in there and, uh, and undo the nut on the, on the sprocket. But I'm not sure why you would do that with the cover still in place because I don't know how you would get the sprocket out but anyway there we go probably what I'll do is that there's little kind of screw holes here so probably what I'll do is I'll just get a washer and a bolt and just put bolts in there just to kind of blank it off or something like that um, so that's that so I've got that and the battery um, right, I've got a couple of other things here as well I mentioned in a previous video that um, the clutch has got a nasty kind of rattle um, when the bike's idle, if you let in neutral, if you let the clutch lever out with the bike in neutral, you get a really nasty rattle. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if you pull the clutch back in again, the rattle goes away, which tells me that it's the clutch that's causing the problem. So I googled that and I found out that um, that it's a common problem with the fire blades is to get a rattle from the clutch, and it's caused by. Uh, the, the clutch springs being tired so what I've done is I've got these um, EBC heavy duty clutch springs unfortunately they put a great big barcode across the front of the packet you can't see it very well but anyway um, one engine set 
it says that they're 15% stronger than the original sort of OEM clutch springs. Um, which sounds quite good, and I guess it means that the clutch is, is kind of that bit stronger, you know. Uh, heavy duty clutch spring set, full engine set, heat treated and tempered, steel coil or diaphragm springs, the guaranteed tension of 15% above standard, so the guarantee is at least 15% stronger. Clutch springs are an extremely important part of the motorcycle transmission system to take seriously accuracy, spring tension or a range of CSK kits. Uh, always check lever operating pressure for ease of clutch disengagement before riding or releasing motorcycle for use. In other words, the clutch lever is probably going to feel quite a bit heavier with these springs in, but to be honest, that's okay. I don't mind, you know, if the clutch is a bit heavier. I guess it means it'll be a bit harder work to ride in traffic, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just get used to it, you know. Um, so that's that. Um, and then what we've got here, because I had problems with the, setting up the digital clocks, I couldn't get them to work and I couldn't figure out, you know, how to wire them in and all the rest of it. I decided, basically, I need some kind of a speedo, even if I'm not going to have, you know, like a rev counter and everything. I need to I need to have a working speedo. So what I've done is I've got this cycle computer. Again, this was off eBay. Um... This was actually this was only a few pounds. It was like less than four quid. Incredibly cheap. It's basically it's a digital speedo, and it just um, clamps onto the handlebars, and then it has a bit that um, this bit here, I think, which kind of attaches to the fork legs, and then you just put the magnets, glue the magnets to the wheel rim or whatever, and um, that gives that then gives you your speed. Um, I'm not sure what the top speed on it is, obviously, because it's a bicycle speedo. Um, but I think a lot of these digital ones, they, they go up kind of way high, so it should be fine. Um, I think it also tells you the time and a couple of other bits and pieces. It tells you like your journey time and your average speed and all that sort of stuff. To be honest, I don't even really need that. As long as it tells me my speed, that's all that matters. I think you can switch it between miles per hour and kilometers per hour as well. So. Um, so that's that. So the only thing I'm still waiting for is the the fan switch. I'm getting a proper fan switch, which I've ordered off eBay. Um, I also realised that I need to get some Jubilee clips to fit the airbox on because the airbox is fitted with its original clips, which are a bit kind of rusty and a bit rubbish. So um, I'm going to get some Jubilee clips in town this afternoon. I'm going to nip into town and get those. Now, this is in my new job, um, doing, uh, which I'm, um, where I'm working night shifts. Uh, my weekend is Monday, Tuesday, and it's now Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, well, sort of Wednesday. Um, so it's now Monday, so over the next couple of days, I'm going to try and get all of these things fitted. Um, obviously, things like the battery and the sprocket cover there, just a couple of bolts. They're not too big a deal, shouldn't take very long at all. Things like the clutch springs, they're a bit more mechanical. And the speedo will maybe take a little bit of time to set up. But I'm hoping to get all of this done and, you know, pretty much have the bike back on the road by Wednesday this week. What I'm going to do is I'll upload uh, some videos to do with, you know, the installation of each of these items, or at least some of the items, obviously. There's not a lot of point in putting a, a video up about installing the battery. I'm sure everyone knows how to install a battery. But I might put a video up about installing the clutch springs um, and also the speedo. Um, so for now, that's pretty much it. I basically better get busy and get this thing, get it all done, you know. Um, that's great. Thanks very much for watching.